Hey guys, what's good? It's currently 7.50 in the morning. I had to wake up earlier today because I have a coaching type of session at 9, 9.30. So I figured I'd have to wake up earlier and get a session done because I don't think I'll have time for the, in the rest of the day to do it. Uh, yeah, my legs are a little sore, a little heavy, but yeah, I'm just gonna do some stuff on the wall. So how I normally start off my wall sessions is that I would do both feet, one touch for 100 reps, and for every single exercise, I usually do around four sets. And for this one, it's just me playing against the wall, controlling it with two touches and playing on the other side. I usually just go until it feels right. So there's no really specific amount of reps that I do. Now, usually for dribbling, I just let the creativity flow, I guess. And I just let the instincts take over. Now for the final bit, I just juggle off the wall. I try to do two touches, but if I have to take more than two, I'll take more than two. But I'm just trying to get the ball under control and just, uh, yeah, just keep the ball up and not let it drop. just finished the session um <clears throat> it was raining a little bit but it was a good sweat and i got some good touches in the thing with the wall it's really good because yeah you're by yourself but the amount of touches you got on it is like crazy you know like i think alone in this training or wall training i would get like over a thousand touches each session and you know it's always like really good to really sharpen yourself and really get your body used to the ball um just like reacting to the ball naturally by instinct and controlling it like it's normal like it's a part of your body and i feel like the wall really helps with that yeah so now i'm just gonna head to the house get changed i'm all, all wet and stuff and um yeah i'm gonna start heading my way over to the dome where i coach these kids like every once in a while it's not every day but my friend asked me to help him out today so i told him i would and it's about a 30 40 minute drive but yeah i'm gonna help coach them and then afterwards i'm probably gonna hit a workout but i'll probably be there for around three to four hours we'll see I just got home from the coaching 
Um, right now I'm just gonna hit a workout and yeah, I'll just get to it and I'll show you guys what I do. Just finished the workout and just finished stretching as well so then pretty much for the rest of the day i'm just gonna chill relax um i am also gonna be going back to brazil soon so i'm really trying to spend time with my family and my my loved ones here you know, there's always a way to constantly improve and challenge yourself and the importance of doing things individually shows like that you don't need anybody to push you the motivation could be low but then again, it's it's not all about the motivation. Motivation is only like a small part of it. Motivation for me is kind of like just a small drug that just you know, that'll only last for a certain amount of time. But discipline is what really really counts in the long term. When you're on your own, it's just you and your thoughts, and I think that's really important. You know, everybody is really their own individual, their own selves, and I feel like if you don't really spend time alone whether it's you training by yourself, whether it's you sitting in a room, whether it's you eating food, just alone in your thoughts, I feel like you don't really understand who you are. You start to ask yourself questions about certain things, about your, about who you are, and um, I feel like you can't really find that sometimes when you're with a lot of people. Yes, you can find out who you are with other people. There's that, there's that part. But I feel like understanding who you are as a person on your own is also something completely overlooked by other people you know one time i was in the street and somebody referred to me as oh this must be aaron the soccer player or the footballer not that he meant any harm from it but when he said that i was like is this how people label me just as somebody who plays football or a soccer player and then i started to really dig deep i was like i'm not really just a footballer you know i train every day i have these habits that guide me to become a professional but is that all I want from life? And so really try to understand more of the concept of who I am, you know? Like I'm not just somebody who kicks a ball on the pitch or just works out. Like I'm a lot more than that, you know? I feel like I'm really trying to impact others and help others and have others help me as well. In the long term of life, like you're a lot more than just your occupation or what you do to make your money or what you like to do or a lot of things with life is how you impact others. You know, what's the impact that you leave on other people once you leave this earth? Because everybody's gonna be forgotten. You know, the trophies you win, the amount of money you have, you know, time will run out. You know, when you're lying in your deathbed, you have to ask yourself, like, yes, I made this much amount of money, or yes, I achieved this, yes, I achieved this, but that's all gonna be gone. Those materialistic things could be worth like nothing at the at, at the end of it but what's everlasting is kind of what you teach other people what they take from you you know if you're around people and they're always like you know you always bring like this good side of me or you always bring out this positive vibe in this group or in this team or in this setting i feel like you're doing something right i had to really ask myself like yeah i'm a soccer player but that's not all i am so it kind of brought me to this idea of or this question of, Aaron, who are you? Like, what impact do you want to leave? Who am I? And you know, I could, I feel like people who really want to get a deeper understanding of themselves should ask themselves that too. You know, starting right now, whoever's watching this, who are you?
Alright guys, so I just ate, showered. I'm here with my lovely girlfriend, Freshta. Hello! We're gonna be going to the CNE and e today. Oh, Freshta, oh my gosh! What? <laughs> I you hit the car. I was not, I'm fine. Make sure you don't hit it when you leave. Anyways, yeah, so we're just gonna go to the CE. &E. I won't be documenting too much, just like some things that look nice, I guess. And then, um, yeah, I won't be up for too late. I'll be back home. And I have some clips from Brazil as well that I can show you guys and run you guys through um, some training that I did there. For those who don't know what the CE &E is, Freshta, can you explain? Um, it's a carnival that happens in Toronto the last two weeks of summer. So we're gonna go, it's like rides and games. Yeah, then again, as I said, I won't be home too late. <laughs> <laughs> she so, thinks, she thinks it's weird. Now I'm, it's like I'm talking to my parents, but. Cause he's like, don't worry, I'll be home soon. I'm not a party guy, I don't go out too much. Just this once, just this couple times with this girl. He has so. to enjoy being home, so. Yeah, of course. Alright guys, so here's some clips of some training I've had with my team in Brazil. This is just a simple 3v3 uh, and we play on the big goal and my team's in green and I just received the ball here. So this is just my team against some open trialists. The open trialist team was not as strong as ours clearly, but we had to win by a large margin. I wasn't really involved too much with this play, but I found it a good combination that should have resulted into a goal. But it was a good try. This is just some team training right now, some 2v2s that we've had. Valeu. Yeah, here's just simple. I just received the ball as a right back in this half field scrimmage, and we produced a pretty good play, but it was good defending. In these two clips here, it's just me receiving and turning and just playing it out. Um, nothing crazy, just some simple stuff. So the right back receives the ball and I make a run in and I wanted to finish it but it came right between my like my hip so it was a little it was a little tough to finish but the keeper made a really good save. For this part it's just some balls that I was able to intercept um, slash deflect I guess. Alright guys that's my day. I'm super tired. I'm gonna be getting some sleep right now. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and do the same similar thing again as today, as for almost every day. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care and uh, peace.